Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys a null tutorial that I mostly use in my edits. So for this tutorial, you need that frame. I have uploaded it on my Discord server. You can join my Discord server from the link in the description. So without further wasting any time, let's get straight into it. Moving on to the edit, what you have to do is adjust your ratio from whatever it is to 16 line and then add your frame and set it according to your beat. And now what we are going to do here, like we have to fit the PNGs in this frame. So for that, we have to mask it, select the PNG that you want to apply on this, like you want to make it on this frame and, and now adjust the PNG size and make it fit the frame vertically. After you are done with this, click on mask, then click on mirror and now adjust it horizontally, just like I'm doing it. And after this, what you have to do is add aura just like you usually do. What I do is I copy paste the clip and then make it black. I have made them black already in another software. If you want a tutorial on that, I can make that too. Just tell me down in the comments below. After adding the aura in CapCut PC, what you have to do is select them all and then make them compound clip by pressing Alt and G key at the same time. And after this, what you have to do is go to the next speed, then go two frames to the left, then cut it like in the end. Then what you have to do is do the same, like add the PNG, then adjust its size so it can fit the frame vertically, then go to mask and mask it again horizontally, click on mirror, make it uh, perfect, like it should fit the frame uh, horizontally, like it shouldn't go out of the frame, and then add aura, like you have to do everything that you did in the first clip, uh, the same things you have to do with this again. And after doing all this, you have to compound clip it too. After this, go to the next speed, then go two frames to the left, add the frame and do the same things that you done with the previous two clips like aura and adjustment, like you have to adjust it in the frame. And after that, uh, you have to compound clip in the end. After this, select all the clips and then right click on them and then click on pre-process. This will reduce the lag, wait for it to be pre-processed. And after doing this, you have to adjust the size of these clips. So click on the lower one and then make it size 40 and the middle one, click on the middle one, make it size 60 and the upper one, make it size 80. And after doing this, it's your time to add the keyframes on these clips. Select the lower clip, then go to the starting of the second clip, add an X and Y keyframe there and then go to the next speed, go two frames to the left and then add an X and Y keyframe there and then you have to change the value from 0 to minus 250. After this, select the middle clip and then add a X and Y keyframe at the starting and then go to the next beat and then go two frames to the left and then add an X and Y keyframe there and at the starting, you have to adjust it just like I'm doing it, like it should be to the right side. And then in the second keyframe, uh, you have to change its value from 0 to 250. After this, what you have to do is select the lower clip, then go to the next beat, then go two frames to the left, and then change the value from minus 250 to 250. And then select the middle layer and then adjust it back to the right side just like I'm doing it. And after this, select the upper clip, then add an X and Y keyframe at the starting and then adjust it just like me to the left side and then go to the next speed, then go two frames to the left, then change the value from zero to minus 250. And now see if the keyframes are working well or no, uh, you have missed anything or no. And after checking it, uh, select the upper clip and then go to the end and make it as far as me, like just like I'm doing it, like it should be far away from the center to the left side. And then select the middle layer and then make it go to the right side. And after this, what you have to do is select the lower clip and change its size from 40 to 70 in the end. And then what you have to do is change the value of X from whatever it is to zero. Sorry, I forgot to add a keyframe there. So what you have to do is go to the second last keyframe and add a scale keyframe there and make it size 40 there. And in the end, what you have to do is change the size from 40 to 70. So it should zoom in in the end. After doing these keyframes, what you have to do is add graphs. For me, what I do, I do my own custom graphs. Uh, if you don't know how to do custom graphs, you can just use ease out two in all of these keyframes. And here what I'm doing right now is making my aura white because I don't want it to be of any color. So I want it 
like white so what i'm doing here it's adding an adjustment layer and then in the adjustment layer i'm just changing the value of saturation to minus 50 uh, do, by doing this uh, the aura will become white after doing all of this what you have to do is select all these clips and then compound clip them again and then pre-process them and now change the ratio from 16 9 to 34 and now after doing this what you have to do is zoom in on the clip for me i'm doing it up to 800 my scale is up to 800 and then you have to add a scale keyframe at the starting and then go to the next beat and then go to the two frames to the left and now you have to zoom out a bit just like me and now what you have to do is add an x and y keyframe right there too and then go to the next beat and then go two frame to the left then what you have to do is zoom out a bit and then adjust the next png like it should uh, fit in the center like it should be in the center just like i'm doing it then go to the next beat then go two frames to the left then do the same again zoom out a bit and then adjust it adjust the x like the png should fit in the center now after doing this what you have to do is check the keyframes if they are working well or no after checking them go to the end of the clip if you want the null to be exactly like me like in the end it should be continued so what you have to do is zoom in on the clip and also change the value of x back to 0. After doing this, check the keyframes once or twice. If they are looking good, you are satisfied with the keyframes. And then add the graph. I'm doing my custom graphs because uh, I like them. Like they give good results. So I do them. You just use ease out 2 in all of these. And now after doing the graphs, check them if it looks good or no. If you have followed the steps correctly, it, your video should look like this. And now if you want to add motion blur, just like me in the preview, you saw that I have added motion blur too. So for that, what you have to do is compound clip the uh, this clip and then pre-process it. And now go to motion blur and then what you have to do is change the blend to 100 and blur to between 15 and 10. Check it once or twice if you are satisfied with the motion blur, then you can just export your video in 4K high bitrate 60 FPS.